Yaho YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's thought of the day, I'm going to talk to you about bubblegum positivity. This has been the research paper I've been trying to write for the past two months. Has it been two? I think it's been two. What is bubblegum positivity? Bubblegum positivity was something I encountered first in a Twitch stream, actually, about two months ago. Someone came into my stream and told me, yeah, I know that you're all about that bubblegum positivity, and I'm sure that, you know, it's good for some people on Twitch, but not for me, so I'm gonna leave. And when he said this term, bubblegum positivity, I was like, what does that mean? I've been working on this idea for quite a while now, and I think I've come to an understanding of what bubblegum positivity means. It's like popular positivity. It's like those cat posters that you see that like, you can do it if you just believe. Like it's, it's that kind of stuff. It's phase one level positivity. It's the stuff that we judge on the surface. It's not the stuff underneath the surface. And I feel that because positivity isn't mainstream, a lot of what we're exposed to in the real world is phase one. It's things that, they, it's things that tell us we can do what we want if we just believe and work hard. However, I think that the world has changed a little bit. Back in the 50s, it used to be that if you listened to what people say, and you followed the rules, and you worked hard, you could become successful. However, I think that modern day world culture is more centered around not breaking the rules, working hard, and innovating your way out of the ordinary world, or ordinary life, to say that. To say the least, I think. I was listening to this in High Performance Habits from Brendan Bouchard, one of the top high performance coaches in the world by Success Magazine. I, I think that's what it was. I was reading um, an article that he posted. No, not an article, his High Performance Success Indicator. I took the test yesterday and it was cool. It was really, really cool. But like, I have a lot of work to do actually to become better at performing on my things. And I just started thinking so much about this concept of bubblegum positivity. In about, what's it called? A week or so, maybe like 11 days, I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch with Wake the Beast, and I'm gonna be presenting a lot of my findings on bubblegum positivity. Now, just to give you a quick summary of what my findings show, I'm trying to link cognitive dissonance between loneliness. Now, one of the big things that I think that I struggle with most often is cognitive dissonance. I say one thing and then I say something else that contradicts what I say. If you know me in real life, you probably have heard me contradict myself before and you've heard how quickly I am to dismiss the contradiction for me just to say I can't be left, I can't be held accountable to whatever I think because I just think about so much stuff. I think a lot of us tend to think this way as well. However, where I'm very verbal in my dissonance, I think a lot more people are less verbal about their dissonance and are more interested in keeping it in their heads. Here's the thing about keeping stuff in your head though. Let's switch up here. Here's the thing about keeping stuff in your head. If you keep it in your head, you're much, likely, you're much less likely to address it. You're much less likely to actually want to do the work that you need to examine that idea and to think about it. If you say it out loud, People might tell you, hey buddy, you're contradicting your thoughts. And that might give you a little more energy to want to think more about what you're saying. And I think that this is so important because if you don't ask for help, if you don't tell people what you think, if you don't tell people what you believe, how are you ever gonna be able to grow in what you believe in? How are you ever gonna know why you believe in it? How are you ever gonna know what you wanna do with what you believe in? This is something I've been working on for quite a while now and we're going to be doing a lot of reading today, a lot of reading into bubblegum positivity. When we get home, we have the Imagination Station around 50 chapters. We're now approaching 50 chapters of the Imagination Station for us to be able to go and look into. I have to do a 10 page, 10 page thesis paper on what my argument is going to be about. And it's going to be really exciting. So I just want to say that. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. A bunch of people here now.